What's up guys, welcome to part 3 of Pokemon X and Y Let's Play. So in the last episode, we read Santaloon City and uh, just left here. So let's go ahead and explore this Pokemon Center. And uh, okay, two kids are sitting there. Kinda cool, let's see if we can sit. No, okay, yeah, we can sit. That's fine, and we can even look around. So I'm gonna show the Pokemon which I caught till now. And yes, someone's PC and uh, whatever. Okay, I want to move my Pokemon. Yep, there we go. So we have caught, uh, we have caught uh, quite a few Pokemon actually. We have Pansage, then we have the Pikachu, which is super rare. Then we have Bidoof, which I caught on Route Three. Uh, it was not on screen, but I, I caught it uh, off screen. So, yep. Then we have Scatterbug. Then we have Zigzagoon. And uh, at last we have Fletling and Pidgey, the two birds. So we have caught like 10 Pokemon till now. No, 12 Pokemon actually. So here we have Pokemon Mart behind this, uh, behind this Pokemon Center. You can buy stuff. I wanna buy Pokeballs. Because we caught quite a lot of Pokemon and we beat many trainers so we have the money enough to buy it and we also got a Premier Ball and we can buy some potions because we'll be taking on Jim in this the gym, uh, the gym leader in this episode and I'm sorry for that and uh, 5 potions will be okay so let's go and you can just go here and change your clothes but we don't have any more clothes uh, actually, we do have a white t-shirt, but it does not make any difference. Anyways, so let's go ahead and Yeah, so I trained to uh, wait a little bit by going in here not here. Oh uh, It's my bad uh, Going in here and fought some trainers Right here, so we can get the pokeball right there. We, I already battled this girl Okay, but we cannot get it because of this this tree and uh, actually you can find a very useful Pokemon here called Farfetch'd and uh, if you have a trouble beating the first gym leader I re highly recommend you to come to this area and catch a Farfetch'd it's quite rare but you can easily find it and I also beat this girl so that's how I trained you can catch a Farfetch'd and uh, let's see if any other Pokemon comes up I'm gonna show Farfetch'd. Okay, Bunnelbees are also here. So you can either catch a Bunnelbee uh, or you could catch a Farfetch'd if you are having trouble beating the first gym leader. Now, if you have caught the Bunnelbee, I'll be telling something that might be very useful. So go back here in the town and uh, you can actually get a Farfetch'd which has the move Aerial Ace. That means had it's super effective on the gym leader's Pokemon, which is Bot type, of course. So the Ariel is not known by the wild Farfetch'd, but only by this Farfetch'd. So let's trade a Bunnelby for the Farfetch'd. So where is Bunnelby? Yes, it's in party, I guess. There we go. There is our Bunnelby, and we'll be having the first trade of this game. And this is actually a in-game trade. So I think tamed my Bunnel P pain because she was female and she's a bunny. So we got the far fetched and looks pretty cool. The animation is really awesome. And here we have far fetched. And I'm sure it will be having some nickname. Wacklin, okay. <laughs> okay, it's it's kind of stupid nickname, but anyways. So I just wanna show this because many people have picked the Fennekin and many people have also picked Froki and uh, it's natural they will be having trouble beating the first gym leader but I told you guys how to beat her because I have Chespin I won't be having any trouble beating the gym leader so here we have Quacklin Quacklin I guess yes Quacklin the wild farfetch are about to level 7 but this Quacklin is level 10 and uh what nature it is 
Oh, it's jolly nature. Okay, jolly nature increases your speed and decreases your special attack. That's that's the nature that we wanted. Actually, it's perfect nature. Okay, so it has furry cutter and it has aerial is the most important attack that we'll be needing to be the gym leader. But hopefully, I don't need it, and I could beat the gym leader without farfetch. So let's go ahead and talk to this girl. And she will be also giving you roller skates after we beat her. Yes, of course, I'm on a battle. So, my week is at level 14, I guess. I trained a bit. Yes, a bit. And she only has a zigzagoon. And you won't be having any trouble beating her. The background looks really awesome. So, let's really quickly beat this zigzagoon. I will be using ro rollout. Because it's increased, the power increases of rollout whenever you use it consecutively and it can hit up to five times so yeah and there we go we took out the zigzagoon and now we can have access to the roller skates i guess there is no bicycle in this game but it's it's nice to have the roller skate i prefer the roller skates instead instead of bicycle because all the time we don't have to put it off and put it on roller skates are like the permanent thing so she just showed you how to use it and there we go and this this roller skates kind of remind me of uh, Mega Man Battle Network because well, okay what the hell now we need to go in here come on yes so we are in the gym the first gym Santaloon City Gym and this is a bug type gym, if you didn't know, but it is. So let's talk to this guy, and he's trying to rhyme everything. So let's go down there. And even this was showed in the trailer. Let's go there, down. There we go, we are in the first gym. Okay, so here we are. Now, like you said, like, just, just you, like you see, no. What am I saying? Sorry. Just uh, like you just saw, the some of the dew drops just uh, just f got away and they are broken. So I suggest you to follow these dew drops. And I'm uh, really sorry for all the stumbling that I'm doing. And you can battle this guy and just get some level ups. It's easy and it's okay. So youngster David, okay, Lady Ba. We have the super effective rollout, which is four times super effective on buff flying types. So let's go for this rollout, and hopefully it's a one-hit kill. Yes, indeed it is. Even though it was level 10 Pokemon. Okay. So we got level up, and it's on level 15, just one level away from uh, getting evolved. So lead seed, uh, lead seed. Okay, kind of okay attack, but. I don't know if I wanna keep lead seed or not. No, I, I won't be keeping lead seed. No, I don't wanna learn lead seed. Okay, there we go. So we defeated the youngster David. There are three trainers in this area, in this gym. You wanna battle, but it can be still okay if you just battle one of them. Now we can go ahead. Okay, these are broken. Mm hmm. That's bad. So these are broken, now we can follow these dew drops. And there we go. We will also, I guess we can battle this guy. But no, because because that uh, string is kind of like broken, we cannot battle him. Let's go. And we will, we will have to battle this girl. You can only battle like two, two trainers in this gym. Charolate, okay. Kakuna, yes. So this Kakuna has poison sting, so you better watch out for that uh, poison status. So we are going for the super effective rollout. Of course, its power will be increased for the next Pokemon she sends out. Okay, it does not kill it. Wow. Yes, poison sting. It will be super effective on us. But even though, oh my god, we are poisoned. The thing that I was worried about. Well. Sorry there. Anyways, we go for the rollout and take out this Kakuna. And I'm really sorry for that kind of 
things that I do. I sometimes stumble upon the words. <laughs> so, anyways, I hope you don't. I, I hope you guys don't mind that. I'll I'll get better eventually. So we have combi here, and our rollout will be four times super effective on this combi. It's a female combi, and female combis are super rare. They are like twelve percent rare. You will always find a male combi in wild. So we have beaten this girl, and now finally we can take on the gym leader. But before we do that, we wanna heal our chest pin. And uh, yes, we have a antidote that we found in the forest. So I also wanna use potion on chest pin, so it's fully ready and uh, healthy to take on this gym. Let's go and battle Viola. I guess this is how you pronounce her name. So anyways, she's the gym leader. She has two Pokemon, which include Sorskit and Vivillion. Vivillion is like her signature Pokemon, and she is the photographer. And there we go, versus Viola. So she sends out Sorskit just like I told. This circuit, uh, this source kit has bubble and water spout. So if you have Panicking, you are in big trouble because it will be using its water spout to further weaken down your fire type moves. And uh, uh, fire type moves are neutral damage on the source kit. But first of all, she goes for the bubble, and we go for the super effective rollout, and we miss. Wow. Anyways, let's go for the rollout. And uh, it does a bit actually. So like I was saying, this circuit knows a bubble and water spout. So if you have Fennekin, then you'll be in a little bit of trouble. It also has quick attack, the priority plus one move. And uh, yeah, so you better take the Farfetch with you uh, for this gym. Because it's pretty bad if you get beaten by the four gym leader so now she's gonna be sending out Vivillion now we are okay we'll be staying in because rollout is four times super effective on this Vivillion it will be awesome but this Vivillion also has a super effective move infestation and it's a one hit kill whoa wake is just too powerful even the bug types uh, bug type attacks are super effective on us Wake still beats this gym leader with ease, easily. And we are on level 16. Awesome, this was really easy. And I hope you guys enjoyed this whole thing. And Wake is evolving, like I said. And out of all of the Let's Plays I have seen, nobody's starter evolved so soon and my starter is already evolving. Kind of feel proud. <laughs> Anyways, so... We are actually quite a lot leveled up and we are strong to take on anything and we have come this far without using any other Pokemon than Chespin. This is the kind of loyalty you have towards your starter Pokemon. And here we go. So we got the Bug Badge, our first badge. And yes. So we received the bug badge from Viola in level 30 and above Pokemon will obey us. And we have the TM infestation. This is new move. Yes, it's new move and it traps the foe and uh, it basically enables you to switch out and does damage every turn. It's like a five turn move. Yes, it damages you throughout like five turns and uh, it's uh, it also no what I was trying to say, yes. So infestation is a bug type move, it's a special move and uh, it prevents you to switch out and it's there for 5 turns. And there we go, you could see a butterfree there, okay. And a met metapod here and we are done here. <laughs> so we beat this gym leader really nicely and easily. So we can go up to Pokemon Center and heal up our Pokemon. And they're kind of uh, the imprint of Venomoth on the floor, I guess. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Anyways, we are here to sit on benches. The best thing ever. You could see the Roselia, you could see the whole town here. Wow, this is amazing. 
So anyways, let's go to Pokemon Center and heal up real quick. Yes, of course. And we have Chespin and Farfetch'd on our side. No, it's not Chespin. Pardon me, please. It's Quilladin and it's Wake. It's called Wake and yeah, so we don't need Farfetch'd anymore. So I guess this Farfetch'd needs to relax right now. There we go, we only need our starter, because I trust my starter. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, proceed. But I guess this was it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm trying to make it as much entertaining as I can, and as much informative as I can, of course. So make sure you leave a like, a comment down below, and some suggestion if you want to give, and please tell me your opinion about this Let's Play. And uh, yes, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon X and Y. Till then, see ya!